And I regret these days for the rest of my time And every kiss not a bit of my life, my life, my life Make me, you know you bring Caroline And I'm Nick from Picture Atlantic Okay, so AbsolutePunk.net listed you guys as part of the Absolute 100 list of their favorite lesser known bands Seeing that you guys are a band with a huge sound that will just send chills down your spine every time you listen. And you recently played a gig at H.P. Pavilion with Coldplay. So what do you feel is your biggest accomplishment so far as a band? Um, playing with Coldplay was pretty big, but the uh, I think just us finishing a full-length album was actually pretty big because uh, it, it takes a lot of work and we spent probably a year in total putting it together just with pre-production and stuff. So it, I would say that was probably our biggest accomplishment in the long run. Have you all been involved in bands before forming this band? Yeah, actually uh, uh, we've all done our own bands or been in bands. Um, I did my own acoustic thing for a while, which obviously didn't turn out so great because I'm not <laughs> doing that anymore, but um, did that and then Ryan, our bass player, was in a hardcore band with our old drummer and then our guitar player Patrick was in a band. Aaron, our other guitar player, has been in tons of bands. Um, Rico, our drummer, has been in every band, so he's, we've all been playing music definitely before, and that's kind of how we came together. And how long have you guys been playing together as a band? Um, I would say as this new outfit, we've probably been together for maybe eight or nine months. Like I. I mean, we, we started a year and a half ago, maybe almost two years ago, but things have changed so much and we've gained members and we've lost our old drummer that I feel like it's almost in some ways a new band. So we've been together for like eight or nine months. How did it feel to know that Coldplay personally picked you guys out of the top bands to play? That was a bit weird. That was, I mean, it, it was flattering, definitely. I'm not going to say it wasn't, but um, it was very bizarre. It's, I mean... I, I kind of thought that they would be listening to music from the future at this point, but they're, <laughs> I guess they liked us enough that they wanted us to open, and there were some pretty, like, pretty solid bands that we were up against. So. Are it, you, like, a really big fan? Yeah, I'm a, I am a fan of, of Coldplay. I think I started out um, really liking their first two albums, and then just kind of from there, I, like, I would say I became a fan, but uh, definitely their new album has kind of drawn me in a lot more, and so I, def I would say that I'm a fan. Um, and did you get to talk to them and get any advice from them? When well, we talked to them, and we talked to them about, we talked to their bass player, actually, about Japan, um, and how crazy Japanese people are. Not that I think cr Japanese people are crazy or They're anything. They're crazy crowds. Well, though. they do, and he was telling about how just, like, um, how polite everybody is, and, um, he talked just for about 30, 40 minutes, and just, I talked to him about photography, and was, like, trying to keep cool and be like, yeah, so, like... I'm a normal person, and so are you, and, like, we do the same things, right? Like, you know, except he probably bathes in, like, wine or something. <laughs> and were you nervous to start playing from, like, smaller crowds to a big arena? Uh, yeah. We played a tour right before we we won, and we were playing at max to, like, 100. I think the most we played was, like, 120 people, maybe, and that was a one show in Fresno somewhere. Uh, and so we felt a little weird going from like 40 people to like 15,000 people. Um, it wasn't necessarily nervous. I was a little nervous right before we went on, but then once we started playing, the lights were in my eyes, so I couldn't really see anybody. <laughs> Our bass player said he got really nervous after we played, oddly enough. After? He had like a delayed reaction. <laughs> cool. um, so everyone points you out as one of the best live shows, if not the best in the, in the Bay Area. So what do you think makes your performance stand out more than other bands? Oh, why? <laughs> um, well, we, uh, we, we try to, I, I, I mean, I don't have that answer. I mean, that sounds kind of random, but I don't have that answer necessarily. I guess that's kind of up to the, the individual viewer, but we, we try to, like, do our best when we play, and we, we try to practice as much as we can, and uh, try to get each individual part down solid and then kind of bring that together. So, I mean, I would say that I, I feel confident in our, like, l our live sound with, like, our instruments and stuff like that. Um, and also just trying to, like, be a little more natural on stage and not fabricate anything. I think the worst thing would be to come across, c come across contrived to people. So I guess just try to 
be ourselves. Yeah, that's definitely. I can as just Disney tell. as that sounds. <laughs> yeah, I can just tell because like a lot of the bands that are also playing whenever you guys are playing, they're not really putting themselves out there totally, and I can always tell that you guys are giving your hundred percent. I I, I mean I guess I, I like to be crazy, so I guess I can help. That's good. <laughs> so you guys have, haven't been together for very long, and a lot of other bands that are trying to get to the point that you are now have been playing for a lot longer. So have you been able to stay focused? Because a lot I know a lot of bands. It's, it's easy to stay focused when you like what you're doing. Um, I think, if anything, that blurs anything that's kind of uh, seems negative to us in, in what we're doing. So it, it's easy to stay focused in that we like what we do. And, um, we, we, ha we have faith in each other's musical ability, and we like the musical ability that we, we... We like respect each other as musicians, and I think like all the guys in my band are really talented, so... I feel like good about what I'm doing, and I mean, if we ended up playing for 10 years and ended up, you know, being on the Ed Sullivan show once or something, if, even if that's still around, it probably isn't, but uh, I know it isn't. Um, but yeah, we wouldn't. We probably we would give up eventually, but I think we would we'd we'd stick in it for the long run. Okay, explain what fluff is. Um. Oh, you're talking about our video, right? Yeah, fluff is. Um, is a video that we made in the studio when we were recording, and it was random footage. We filmed pretty much almost all of the recording of the album, and uh, we made two videos out of it. Um, Fluff was just the name that we came up for because it was kind of not. It was like the nice bits. It like didn't really like have any purpose except it was fluffy and kind of fun to watch, and so um, I think there was a much more like insidious reason for naming it that, but I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. Um, what was your main inspiration for the CD, and how was the recording experience? Um, the inspiration was uh, just the things that were happening to me and my friends at the time, and the kind of, I guess if you could call it the, the you know, there's like the Bronze Age and the Iron Age. It was like our age of this particular, like writing this album, and kind of right before that and then right after that and like all that mixed together um, and just kind of my thoughts and um, kind of like tying it together with like somewhat of a theme and it was it was actually really hard to record the album it was mentally draining on me because we had to spend a lot of time in the studio and um, be up very late and then I also I, I if you ask anybody in my band we, I probably stress out the most about so I was always worried if my lyrics were good or if this melody was good or if I should even do this part. So I just felt like on one end it was very draining, but on the other end it was, it was there were some easy parts, but some of it was also very stressful. And then lastly, tell everyone who's watching why they should check out the show. You should check us out because we are a band that plays music and some people like us, so maybe you would like us too.